Welcome to a new academic year, everybody. A very warm welcome to those of you that are joining the university for the first time. I hope you prosper here and flourish, and a warm welcome back to everybody uh, who's been away perhaps over the summer. I hope you've had a very good break. Uh, you're coming back to the university, as we know, at an unusual time still in the UK. We still don't know what's going to happen in respect to Brexit. We don't quite know how universities or post-18 education more generally is going to be funded working through some difficult issues, as we know, in the sector around pensions too. But I can say that the university itself, um, allowing for vagaries of government policy, is in good shape. We're financially in good shape. And you're returning to a university where you will see a number of changes in our estate. Some of it's under the ground. Uh, we've been working hard, colleagues in CIS, on the networks, the civils. Most of that work is done data storage centres going in, which will increase the reliability and usefulness uh, of some of our networks. More storage uh, space, particularly for those of you in science, but more generally. New packages going in as well to help people do their work more effectively. We've already got Work Tribe in, completing the work on recruiting the next generation of students, Rings, Oracle this term for a number of colleagues across the university. Uh, starting in HR and payroll, um, and then we're turning to a huge piece of work uh, on the web uh, with a new CMS. So that work will progress through the academic year. You'll see new buildings have opened, uh, at least by the time this video goes live. I spent a fair bit of time in August uh, at Maiden Castle, which is astonishing. Uh, we're now working on the old part of Maiden Castle, which connects to the new buildings and will open in November. We've got all of the integrated sports park around it. So certainly by January, February, that will be looking even more splendid than it is now. It's been widely used by the community. Lots of school kids uh, over the summer. Uh, the new Centre for Teaching and Learning, I think we take possession of that this week. I hope so. We've got an open day on Friday, uh, September the 20th. So many of you will be involved in that. It's a splendid new building. It will help us do new forms of teaching. It will help pedagogy in all sorts of ways and a lot of study space for our students as we continue to grow the student body. You can see the two new colleges going up at Mount Oswald, which will open next year. Uh, maths and computer science going up a pace as well at Upper Mountjoy. And all, all of those works are really there to enable us to prosper in the areas that we're so strong in, research, education and the wider student experience. So we are, again, all about people. There's a lot of work going on continuing this year around job families, providing better career pathways uh, for people, particularly in the professional services, including the colleges. Uh, the academics, I know, will be concentrating on research and education as ever, with the extra fillet this year of knowing that we're heading into a REF completion in about a year's time towards the end of November 2020 will be the census date. Uh, and also the NSS, where we, you know, we've dipped a little bit. We, we do need to do better there, all of us, uh, next year, collectively. So we're putting in place, I hope, uh, what we need uh, as an organisation, leadership, mentoring, support, the infrastructure for everybody to flourish. And then we can concentrate on what we really most of all need to do, which is to tell positive stories, honest, positive stories, about the university. We're a great university. Uh, we're working hard now on building our global reputation to go alongside an outstanding domestic reputation. And we want that to be a very participatory endeavour. Uh, so we'll be collecting the stories, sourcing the stories, and getting the stories out. We're not going to shout loudly. We're going to shout quietly. That's not an oxymoron to end this with. I hope you all have a, a wonderful academic year. Thank you.